One of the Holy Father's closest advisors is spreading the word. Yesterday, I sat down with Archbishop Silvano Tomasi, the Vatican's former top diplomat at the United Nations in Geneva. I asked him how countries can heed the Vatican's call today on this complex issue of migration. Thank you so much for joining us here at Georgetown University. We appreciate your time. My pleasure. As the former Vatican representative to the UN in Geneva, you had to handle the migrant crisis. Tell me, is it worse now than it was then? And if so, by how much? Migration is a phenomenon that is present throughout the different moments of history. So we shouldn't be surprised that today there is a heavy population movement to prevent uh, this movement to take place and uh, instead to find a solution at the root, at the base, where the people are. And what is that solution? There is no simple solution, but the starting point is to help the development of the countries where the people are coming from, to adopt policies that instead of provoking violence and war, try to solve political differences by way of dialogue and negotiation. Those are two pretty big asks. That's very true. Uh, it may sound a bit idealistic, but that's the concrete way to move forward. Uh, the Holy Father speaks, of course, of the capacity of integrating the people coming because we need to take into account the need of the receiving society. So we need to balance and to find the creative ways to respond to this current emergency. Uh, we have, for example, in Canada, uh, a policy that uh, private groups like uh, parishes can demand a, to accept a certain number of uh, individuals, a family, say, of refugees from Syria. When the Pope went to Lampedusa in 2013, he said that he went because of the drownings from the Mediterranean Sea and all of the plights of the migrants. And the Pope himself has brought migrants to the Vatican. This seems to me the same principle that he was trying to lead by example. Pope Francis has become the voice of the voiceless and uh, refugees. I can give you a concrete example. Uh, when I was uh, talking with some of the Yazidi in Iraq. Iraq, I was speaking English. They were speaking in Arabic, which I couldn't understand, and they couldn't understand English. But when the word Pope Francis was mentioned, they just applauded. There is a recognition that this man is their voice. And it's not an abstract appeal, an emotional, religious, sentimental appeal. It's a concrete voice of reason.